I am Father Gerard Gotze from St. Paul Diocese and uh, I was ordained in 1982 and I started my first tapestry in 1983 and uh, thinking I would only do one I've now done ten and uh, I think I'll close that chapter in my life and so the first tapestry I did was the Gospel of John then I did the Prodigal Son then Mary in the Gospels then uh, St. Paul, this one here, then I did the Stations of the Cross, then I did uh, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, uh, then the Book of Revelation, the uh, Prophets of the Old Testament, the Book of Genesis, and then the last one is the Women of the Bible. Uh, finished that one on the 4th of June this year. And so with uh, St. Paul, uh, Apostle to the Gentiles, I have the places where Paul visited along the uh, left-hand side of the tapestry and in different languages. So if you can read the different languages, uh, the first one is Sidon in Old Slavonic, then uh, Rome and Ephesus, Rome and Latin, Ephesus in Ukrainian, then Athens in Greek, Syracuse in Polish, Thessalonica in Spanish, Chincreya in Hungarian, Tyre in French, Seleucia in Armenian, Berea in German, Laodicea in Braille in French, Damascus in Arabic, Samothras in Tagalog, Corinth in Russian, Philippi in Japanese, Jerusalem, Yerushalayim in Hebrew, Iconium in Dutch, Samos in Maori, Perga in Lithuanian, Lystra in Latvian, Salamis in Czech, Assos in Swahili, and then uh, Corinth in Chinese, or pardon me, Antioch in Chinese, uh, Regium in Vietnamese, Caesarea in Ewe, an African language, Troas in Serbian, Miletus in Slovak, Kos in Gaelic, Derby in Korean, Colosse in Cree, and then in Braille, Fort McMurray, St. Paul wasn't there, but I was there, Teatira in English, and Malta in Singhalese. And I see that we have the um, places where, or some scenes from the Apostles' life too. Um, can you explain though the sword with the heart? Okay. Uh, so then the, the scenes from Paul's life as, as a chain, so the first scene is the stoning of uh, Stephen, and then Paul's conversion on the road to Damascus, then he's brought in front of Annas, and the scales fall from his eyes. He is lowered in a basket from the, uh, from the wall, takes up a, a collection for the poor in Jerusalem. He's in uh, Athens, and he and Barnabas are mistaken as gods. Then the Council of Jerusalem, then Paul's uh, escape from prison, the shipwreck, and then his beheading. Of course, the beheading is not uh, in the scripture. It's according to Tertullian, according to church tradition, that he was uh, beheaded. And then scenes or images from his writing. In Greek, the parchment, all creation is groaning in one great act of giving birth. Then the olive tree. Uh, we have been grafted onto the olive tree. He was a tent maker, so the tent, then the crown of thorns versus the crown that withers. The um, three times he asked uh, to, that the uh, thorn of flesh be taken from him. Uh, then the stumbling block, the sword through the heart, uh, circumcision of the heart and then the chains of Paul uh, he's from the tribe of Benjamin and Benjamin is referred to as a ravenous wolf so the wolf um, three times beaten with rods and then the cup of blessing that we bless is sharing in the blood of Christ the bread we break is a sharing in the body of Christ and then the helmet of faith the uh, um, shield uh, and the uh, and then the uh, cat of nine tails, beaten 39 times. 
right along the bottom, I laid the foundation, someone else built on it, and then I have my signature in Braille and the dedication to a priest who's celebrating 40 years of, of priesthood, Father Poulain, uh, dedicated in the Braille. And then the name of Paul in different languages, and for the names of the places as well as the names of Paul, uh, most of it written by parishioners mm. in their handwriting who spoke the language. Oh, wow. and, and if I couldn't get someone who spoke the language, then I did it myself. So English and French, my nephew was five years old, wrote okay. that. Uh, then Singhalese, Polish, is John Paul's handwriting. Oh. Holy card. Uh, Latin, Paulus, is Paul the sixth handwriting. Oh, wow. Uh, Hebrew, uh, Saul. Then Arabic, Spanish, Armenian, uh, German, Swahili, Greek, Maori, uh, Russian, Japanese, Ukrainian, Italian, Lithuanian, Czech, Vietnamese, follow. Uh, Turkish, Cree. And then Chinese, vertical. Uh, Hungarian, Gaelic. Chippewan, Degaya. I'm not sure exactly what it translates as maybe uh, the apostle or something. Uh, Serbian, Croatian, and then Braille, uh, Paulus. Hindi and Korean. Okay, so I don't want you to give away because I want people to come to the talk. Yes. What time are the talk? Uh, is it home? Saturday at ten and one thirty and five o'clock. Okay, but and Sunday at one thirty. So, but just to entice our viewers on the internet to come, can you kind of explain that there is something maybe a little special about these? Don't tell them what it is. Just explain there's something little special about. Yeah. Right there, right? Yeah, so this is the women of the Bible. I'm not going to do my main por portion on this, but I will speak a little bit about it. I've identified 30 of the women of the Bible. There's something like 180 women of the Bible mentioned by name. And here I wanted uh, the woman identified by name and by the object that she holds. And uh, I have the names in Hebrew and Greek. And hopefully people, if they know the story, would be able to identify who the women are. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's something like 30 women that aren't mentioned by name, like the woman caught in adultery, the woman at the well. So of course I didn't put them because they don't have a name, even though they have a story and perhaps an object. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I've done uh, is I've always signed my name in Braille. So like the iconographer who never signs their name on the icon, I didn't want to make it too obvious, so uh, the signature is in Braille, and the dedications I have is in Braille as well. All right, well thank you very much. Okay, thank you.